Hey everybody, and this is part two of part one. So, as I said, <clears throat> this entire universe, including other planets, <coughs> was created by a woman, okay? And Ma and mitochondria DNA can prove that you can you can look this up on Google that the first the first human to to ever be brought into existence was into physical existence was the woman so if you think about all this religion stuff and science you come to the you come to the realization that the woman was first on the planet then the man but like i said it is the man's ignorance and his consciousness that <coughs> told us everything should be se separate i mean things should be separate from the point of view that we have to understand certain things and it's oh it's okay to be skeptical and doubt but right now i'm 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 being i'm being one-sided because i'm speaking truth here okay <clears throat> so so yes everyone when it comes down to straight um straight feminine straight masculine men and women straight feminine men and women okay <clears throat> well just overly feminine women <laughs> uh, that 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 part is confusing my head but anyway um we 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 all came from the 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 female and and when and when the woman gave birth to every human being, the cosmic mother, when she gave birth to every human being, even with um, Im Im immortal qualities, um, her, her, her energy and her vibration was transmitted into the man. But it was the woman that was the first teacher okay and you have a lot of people in cultures that say the <coughs> the the black woman was god okay in a in a sense that could be true but that that is kind of that's a that's that's a that's a that's a racist idea okay because not nowadays Every everything is multicultural, e even even if it's pro black. If you put it together inclusively, it's multicultural. You can try to debate and you know defend your own truth all you want. I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm I'm disabled. I'm disabled in comments. Um, in 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 this video. Um, and if I can't disable them, I, I just, I just won't respond. I, I, I'm not going to, I don't have time to debate. I'm just speaking truth. Okay. So if we look into outer space at, at night or in, or in daytime, um, longitude, we, 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 we understand that the very first creator was black and it created black walls so that everything could be hidden and i'm speaking universal now second thing what is a star seed a star seed is a human being just like you and me whether male or female and what it is is that we are humans from other star systems other planets other dimensions that carry past present and future lives and 
the thing about the soul is that it carries information from other planets because before there was Earth, there was other planets existing and forming and, and civilizing themselves. Every planet has oxygen, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is part two of homosexual, I mean, homosexuality, feminine heterosexuality, and um, li live the beauty. We're going to be talking about her in a few minutes, but um, anyway, I want to say, I want to say that when, I want to say to all lesbian, bisexual, gay, and transgender people that, <laughs> um, yeah, naturally, as I said, we all were born straight. You can deny that and debunk it if you want to. It's a fact, okay? <laughs> it's... It's a natural born fact. I mean, even the mother god is the great scientist. And in blackology, um, which is nothing but black theology, um, they call her Mother Ninti. Mother Ninti is the great scientist. That's um, N I. N I N T I Ninti. Yeah, there we go. M Mother Mother Ninti is the great scientist and and she was the one that gave us everything. From music to science to medicine to agriculture um to um architecture. You know? With, with with without her the man wouldn't exist without her there'd be no organic food okay without her there would be no technology there would be no spaceships um there would be no nuclear there wouldn't there would be no nuclear plant factories here on earth okay and the thing we have to understand about the Cosmic Mother is that she is neither good or e evil, but she is a being of balance. That is her philosophy. Weighing the evil with the good and the good with the evil. Okay? And again, as I said, balance is her philosophy ma'at or if it, or I should femininely say ma'a like the sound of water right here <laughs> ma'a let, let me turn this up a notch <laughs> got 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 my little soundproof thing here <laughs> but but anyway um with 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 without with, without her life is just it's just meaningless it's confusing nothing makes sense without the mother okay and i love my mother <laughs> christian or not uh and i and i love my cosmic mother you know because she she always has been m metaphysical that that is her belief, but she can relate to everyone and anyone because it was the, the thought. And you know how they say in the beginning was the word? In the beginning was the thought that counted. Alright, so without thoughts and ideas, there would be no religion. But <coughs> I'm not saying that religion is good. And I'm not, and I'm not saying that religion is evil, but <clears throat> both religions do have its positive and negative side. Okay, Every, everything is like theater. 
Everybody is playing their role. Everybody's playing their part. Okay? So when you when you gays say that you were born gay, you you are you are speaking of your your supernatural nature, your cosmological nature. And this is just me. I'm not saying everyone has to agree, but I really do believe that everybody should study metaphysics and astrology. Um, I mean, you, you can't take this whole Christian thing and Islam thing and, and Hindu thing so, so seriously. I, I mean, this is what, this is the only thing that I take literally when it comes to the Bible or any other, um, so-called holy book. Okay? The only thing you sh we should really take seriously when it comes down to the Bible is eschatology. Eschatology is the study of end, end times. Or as fu fundamentalists put it, um, end time prophecy. That's the only thing we should take literally and take look into in con and in consideration. But, but everything else is just um, symbolism metaphor and figurative speech and as the saying goes <clears throat> as the saying goes um um a, a, a thousand word a thousand a, a thousand pictures speak a thousand words um but signs and symbols speak a th show a thousand pictures okay and that is is the truth because there there is a deeper meaning and understanding to everything and if if you if you really want to become a god you have to study everything but if if you're walking around saying that you are god and and you know all then you must die like one and if you believe that then that means that you are prepared to die okay i'm going to end this and do my part three i and to all my gay people i i i love you my lesbian bisexual transgender davy hawkins love you all right namaste